Hello everyone! For this video, i-convert natin yung ating general equation ng ating hyperbola papunta sa kanyang standard equation. When we say general equation, we are in the form ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0. This is for our hyperbola, tapos meron tayong dalawang standard equation base dun sa orientation niya. Meron tayo kapag horizontal yung ating transverse axis at vertical yung ating transverse axis. For horizontal, we have x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. And then para naman sa vertical, halos pareho lang sila nung ating horizontal, pagpapalitin lang natin yung ating x minus h squared at y minus k squared. Kaya sa hyperbola, kapag nauna yung ating x minus h squared, then ang transverse axis natin ay horizontal, ang hyperbola natin is opening towards the right and towards the left. Pero kapag nauna naman yung ating y minus k squared, then ang ating transverse axis ay vertical, siya ay opening upwards and downwards. For this lecture video, galing tayo sa ating standard equation, tapos ililipat natin siya either dito sa standard equation for horizontal transverse axis o kaya naman sa standard equation kapag vertical ang ating transverse axis. Ito yung goal ng ating lecture video. Let us start by doing our example. We have to transform the equation of the hyperbola to its standard equation given. Ito yung ating general equation. We have 5x squared minus 4y squared minus 20x minus 24y minus 36 is equal to 0. As we check our standard equation, balikan lang natin sa glit, either horizontal or vertical, kailangan natin ng denominator na a squared tsaka nung ating b squared. Tapos, yung variable natin na y tsaka yung x, ang numerical coefficient lang nila is 1. Ibig sabihin, walang ibang number na kasama dito, for example, 3 o kaya naman dito ay 4. Hindi siya 3x, hindi siya 4y, siya ay plain lang na x tsaka y. Ito yung una natin gagawin sa ating equation. Kaya for us to do that with our given value, para hindi tayo malito, pagsamahin natin lahat ng merong x, we have our 5x squared, tsaka yung minus 20x, tapos yung merong y, yung minus 4y squared, tsaka minus 24y, tapos yung number lang natin na negative 36, ililipat natin siya sa kabilang side ng ating equation. Kaya yung equation natin ay magiging, pagsamahin lahat ng may x, we have 5x squared, tapos minus 20x, Isunod natin si negative 4y squared, tapos si negative 24y para magkakasama yung merong y. Tapos sa kabila, yung ating negative 36 will become positive 36. Then for our next step, para masimplify natin, kailangan yung ating variable na merong exponent na 2, we have our 5x squared here, saka yung negative 4y squared, yung coefficient niya dapat ay maging 1. Ibig sabihin, yung number na nandito, yung 5, tsaka yung negative 4 ay aalisin natin. Para magawa natin yon kailangan natin siyang i-factor out. Magsimula muna tayo dito sa ating 5. Kapag nilabas natin yung ating 5, dapat yung lahat ng terms na may iwan sa loob ay i-divide din natin dito sa nilabas natin na 5. Kaya we have 5x squared. Kapag dinivide natin siya kay 5, mawawala lang yung ating 5 na nandito. Magiging 1 siya, kaya matitira yung ating x squared. Tapos dito naman, Meron tayong negative 20x, kapag siya naman yung dinivide natin kay 5, negative 20 divided by 5, that is just equal to negative 4, and then we copy the variable x. That is for our 5x squared minus 20x, malalaman natin na tama yung pagka-factor out natin. Kapag binalik natin yung terms, babalik tayo dun sa ating original. So we have 5 times x squared, that is 5x squared, 5 times negative 4x, that is negative 20x. Okay na tayo dito. For our y, ang i-factor out naman natin ay yung ating negative 4. So let me write down, minus 4. Tapos ang may iwan sa loob natin, we have negative 4y squared. Kapag dinivide natin siya kay 4, mawawala lang yung negative 4. That will become 1. Kaya ito ay magiging y squared. Tapos yung ating negative 24y, kapag dinivide naman natin siya sa negative 4, dahil pareho silang negative, ang sagot natin ay positive. Then, 24 divided by 4, that is just equal to 6, kaya this is positive 6y. Again, to check, negative 4 times y squared, that is negative 4y squared, negative 4 times 6y, that is negative 24y. 
tama rin yung ating pagpa-factor out, then wala tayong ginawa sa ating right side, this is still equal to 36. Kung yung unang ginawa natin ay nag-rearrange tayo ng ating terms, pinagsama lahat ng x, lahat ng y, tapos yung numbers nilipat natin sa kabila, for our second step, nag-factor out tayo ng kasama ng ating x squared at y squared. Para naman sa ating third step, kailangan natin mag-completing the squares dito sa nasa loob para makabuo tayo ng square of a binomial. Kaya ang mangyayari, to do our completing the squares, kukunin natin yung ating second term, siya yung b ng ating quadratic equation, both sa x at saka dun sa ating y, we have negative 4 and 6, tapos, i-divide natin siya by 2, tapos kukunin natin yung square niya. So this is b over 2 squared, siya yung kailangan natin na maging third term para magawa natin yung completing the squares. Ito na lagi yung formula na ginagamit para makuha natin yung third term, kaya kailangan na natin siyang tandaan. Then tuloy na natin yung proseso, baba tayo. Same, we have yung ating 5 times x squared minus 4x, tapos yung pangatlo natin, kunin natin yung ating b, which is negative 4, sulat tayo dito sa baba, we have negative 4, tapos divide natin siya by 2, and then kunin natin yung square niya. So this is equal to, negative 4 over 2 is negative 2, and then squared, dalawang negative number, kaya ang sagot natin ay positive, this is positive 4. Kaya ang ilalagay natin dito ay positive 4, para makompleto natin yung ating quadratic equation. Then, para naman kay y, we have negative 4, tapos yung nasa loob pa rin, we have y squared plus 6y. Ang b naman natin, yung kasama ng y, we have our positive 6. Then again, gagamitin natin to, kaya ang b natin is 6, tapos divided by 2, and then squared. This is equal to 6 over 2, that is just 3, and then squared, and then this is equal to 9. Our third term is just equal to 9. Ngayong nagawa na natin siya, then dito tayo sa ating right side, this is equal to 36. Kaso nga lang, para masatisfy pa rin natin yung ating equality, dahil etong positive 4 na to, saka itong positive 9 na to, ay wala naman talaga originally dun sa ating equation. Kaya para hindi tayo magkaroon ng problema, dahil dinagdag natin sila dito sa left side, dapat idagdag din natin dito sa ating right side ng ating equation. Simula tayo dito sa ating 4, Kaso nasa loob siya, meron pa tayong 5 na nasa labas. Kaya ang idadagdag natin ay yung products ng ating 4 at 5. So we have 4 times 5, that is just equal to 20, kaya ang idadagdag natin dito ay 20. In the same way, ganun din yung gagawin natin dito sa ating positive 9, meron tayong negative 4 sa labas. Kaya we multiply, negative 4 times 9, that is just equal to negative 36. Again, yung 20 ay nanggaling dun sa ating 4 and then times 5. Tapos yung 9 times negative 4, siya naman dito sa ating negative 36. Kailangan natin gawin to para ma-maintain natin yung ating equality. Then, kailangan natin kunin yung factors nitong nasa loob. Dahil gumawa tayo ng ating completing the squares, ang factors lang nito ay yung ating variable na x. Tapos kunin natin yung ating b, yung ating middle term na negative 4. Tapos divide lang natin siya by 2. Negative 4 divided by 2, this is negative 2 and then squared. Ang factors ng x squared minus 4x plus 4 ay x minus 2 squared. Same process ating y, this is minus 4 times, kunin natin yung ating variable na y, tapos kunin natin yung ating b, yung nasa gitna, 6 divided by 2, that is just 3, so this is y plus 3 and then squared. Ang factors ng y squared plus 6y plus 9, i y plus 3 squared. Then dito naman sa ating right side, meron tayong 36 and then minus 36. This will become equal to 0, kaya ang matitira na lang ay 20. Ngayon, medyo malapit na tayo sa ating standard equation. Kung mapansin natin, positive yung ating nasa right side, kaya walang magbabago dun sa signs ng nandito sa ating left side. So with this, magiging positive yung ating x minus 2. Kaya masasabi natin na yung mabubuong equation ay merong horizontal na transverse axis. At ang standard equation ng ating hyperbola with horizontal transverse axis ay x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k and then squared over b squared. This is all equal to 1. Medyo malapit na tayo dito, we have our x minus h squared, meron tayong x minus 2 squared. Kailangan na lang din nating tanggalin yung ating 5 na nandito. Same here, kailangan din nating tanggalin yung ating 4. 
tapos medyo may ayusin lang tayo sa sign ng ating y. Then for our right side, meron tayong 20, kailangan natin siyang gawing 1. Kaya ang gagawin natin, we will be multiplying both sides of our equation nung reciprocal nito, nung ating 20, which is just equal to 1 over 20. Kasi kapag minultiply natin, 20 times 1, this is 20, and then divided by 20, magiging 1 na tong ating right side na pareho dito sa ating standard equation. Kaya doing our multiplication, simula muna tayo dito sa ating unang term, we have our 5 times x minus 2 and then squared. Tapos dahil nagmultiply tayo sa ating 1 over 20, walang magbabago sa ating numerator kasi nagmultiply lang tayo kay 1 pero magkakaroon tayo ng denominator natin na 20. Kaya ito ay magiging over 20. Same dito sa ating pangalawa, yung ating 4 times y plus 3 squared. This is minus yung ating 4 times y plus 3 and then squared. Tapos dahil nagmultiply tayo sa 1 over 20, we will also have our denominator that is 20. Tapos yung sinabi natin kanina dito sa ating right side, 20 times 1 is 20 divided by 20, kaya ito ay magiging 1 na lang. So our right side is already equal to 1. Medyo malapit na tayo sa ating standard equation, nagiging magkamukha na sila. Ang kailangan na lang nating i-produce ay yung ating denominator na a squared tsaka yung ating b squared tapos kailangan nating tanggalin yung ating 5 at 4 dito. Kaya para magawa natin yun, ihiwalay natin itong 5 over 20 kasi kung titignan natin siya, yung ating 5 over 20, we can reduce it to our lowest term. Pareho silang divisible by 5. Kaya kapag dinivide natin sila both kay 5, this is equal to 5 divided by 5 is 1, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Kaya yung ating 5 over 20 can become 1 over 4. Tapos kapag minultiply natin yung 1 sa ating numerator, matitira na lang yung ating x minus 2 squared, tapos yung denominator natin ay magiging 4 na lang. Kaya with that, etong part na to can be simplified as x minus 2 squared over 4. Again, kasi yung 5 over 20 natin ay equal lang sa 1 over 4. Then we do the same analysis dito sa ating 4 over 20. Pareho silang divisible by 4. Kaya yung numerator natin ay magiging 1, ang matitira na lang ay y plus 3 and then squared. Tapos yung denominator natin, kapag dinivide naman natin siya by 4, 20 divided by 4, that is equal to 5. Kaya yung ating 4 over 20 can be reduced to 1 over 5. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng denominator na 5. Then this is equal to 1. Then lastly, if we check our denominator, this is a squared, kaso 4 lang to. Kaya kailangan natin kunin yung square root niya para makapag-produce tayo ng ating exponent na 2. Kaya ito ay magiging, still, same numerator, we have our x minus 2 and then squared. Tapos yung 4, kapag kinuha natin yung square root niya, that is just equal to 2 and then squared. Yung ating 2 squared, that is just the same as our 4. Then dito naman sa ating y, ang operation natin is addition, pero dun sa ating standard equation, ang kailangan natin ay subtraction. Kaya kailangan nating palitan yung ating sign. So we have our y. Yung addition, gawin nating subtraction. So this is y minus. Tapos, para makompensate yon yung ating positive 3, baguhin din natin yung sign niya from positive to negative. So this is y minus negative 3 and then squared. Ang ating y minus negative 3, this is also the same as y plus 3. Ngayon, nakapag-produce na tayo ng ating subtraction na pareho dun sa ating standard equation. And then for our denominator, yung 5, kailangan natin magkaroon ng ating exponent na 2 kasi this is b squared. Kaya in the same way, dun sa ginawa natin sa ating x, kunin din natin yung square root ni 5. Kaya ito ay magiging square root of 5 and then squared. Ngayon, nagkaroon na tayo ng ating exponent na 2 sa ating denominator, pareho dun sa ating standard equation. And this is all equal to 1. Kung i-check natin yung ating standard equation, sa numerator, we have our x minus h squared. Ang h natin is just 2. Tapos sa denominator, ang a natin is 2 also. Tapos this is minus, pareho na siya. y minus k, subtraction na to, ang k naman natin ay negative 3. And finally, yung b natin, that is just equal to the square root of 5. With this, we were able to transform yung ating general equation papunta sa standard equation ng ating hyperbola. Pwede nating magamit yung ating h na 2 tsaka negative 3 na k para makuha natin yung center niya. 
Tapos pwede nating ma-plot yung graph using our a that is 2 tapos yung b natin na square root of 5. Ito yung buong proseso ng pagta-transform ng ating general equation ng hyperbola papunta sa kanyang standard equation. That's it for this video. I hope you have learned something. Thank you for watching.